Hi, I'm Larson the Wolf. I'm here with Simple Fox, and we're talking about a game we just finished, Maze, which is a comedic point and click ad adventure game. It's not really point and click, though, it's more like first person adventure. It's, uh, it's a walking sim with puzzles and key hunting puzzles. It's a walking sim with actual game mechanics, quote unquote. Some game so, mechanics. So, TLDR, 1 out of 10, what do you give it? Oh, yeah, we always have to do that. I always forget that. Um. We're also drunk, so this we yeah. may, do, we may, we may record this in the morning. We may actually use this, or we may actually not. Four. I'm going to give it a four, because my mind keeps saying four. I give it a seven. I want to give it an eight, but I'll give it a seven. I thought I was the one who highballed, and you were the one who lowballed. Normally, um, but it depends on the game. Tell Why do you hate it? I'll let you speak. I never laughed. I only ever laughed once in the game and for would we say three hours four hours sure so four for, four four ish hours well, four -ish i was hours more like closer to two honestly but yeah yeah well uh, mine was four and i only ever laughed once and out of a game that is trying to very bluntly be a comedic game it's not funny i just couldn't find it funny okay that's understandable. The problem, uh, this is this comes down to like conversations about how you rate media in general. But comedy subjective. End of story. I think we're getting meta now. Well, no, no, this isn't meta. This is just comedy subjective. Period. So it's hard to say. Yeah, this game's funny and this game's not. I always found Borderlands really funny, but some people find oh, it yeah, obnoxious. Oh yeah, it's obnoxious because of post pop blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I found Maze funny enough to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. That's all I did. I agree with you. I didn't laugh too very much, but it was very clearly trying to be <laughs> corny. Um, Without a doubt. And okay, fuck yourself, by the way. <laughs> okay, that was better than any joke they just had in the fucking game, because it's a game about fucking corn, and you Shit just get corn. corny. Oh, wow, I just explained the joke. Yeah. That fucking biscuit. I thought the item... Uh, you, you say you never laughed. The item description in this game was funny. You have to admit, the different rocks you would pick up and it would say, this rock's contemplating its life and whatnot. I never actually read any of the descriptions because I got real... I just... Because the beginning of the game, there is no audio... Well, other than you walking around, but there's no conversational audio. And it kind of just annoyed me, so I didn't start reading things. So... Well, we gotta actually start talking. On... Our terminology of graphics? This game has a lot of fucking polish. Does it? In the w in terms of graphics? Like, we... I glitched into a cornfield and it took me 20 minutes to get out. I never had any problems with I had a before. bad glitch and I got That's stuck That's because you're in... an AMD scrub and you should feel bad. I, I probably should. <laughs> I really honestly should cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm uh, just giving you shit. Yeah, probably. A AMD's the keen, I think. No, no, no. No, they're not. I'm thinking... You're divulging. I'm, I'm thinking CPU is... Keep on topic. You're drunk. Right, shit. Right, right. Shit. Um, Maybe you're more drunk than I am. Anyway. But no. I, I never had any problems with the game. I My biggest problem with all the, like, adventure aspects to it were either A, super simple, or B, super dumb, and the items just told you what to do. There have been very few times where I felt smart when I figured out a puzzle in this game. Which sucks, because that's the that's point the of the game. game. It's the, No, no, no. It's a, that's the main aspect that made it a game. Period. Like, there was no point in it where I was, like, confused or anything, but... The game's style and what it was trying to do, I had no clue what... By the way, you picked this game for our game club? I actually right? will be fair. Like, I actually remember texting an apology to you saying, I'm sorry I made you play this game because I... And I, had, I beat it first and just hated it. But and, and to that, I was like, oh, it must be awful. And I started playing, I was like, oh no, this game is this game is dorky and dumb. But if you're looking for that, that's this game. It's it, it what it does is it does it really well. Like, I like I love Flatty. That you are obviously in the trailer accompanied by a Russian talking bear. But the thing is he never really had a good joke other than his Russian accent of stupid. He only ever said the word stupid. And unless you found that really funny, the Russian accent of somebody saying stupid, like, 
he started to annoy me at a part just because, like, I was just guessing he's going to go, he's just going to call everything stupid, which he did, and that just wore on me. So, well, to be fair, though, that was a reference to its, its creators, though, because the... And throughout the game, you see these red and these blue notes, and it's about these two mad scientists who were talking to one another, right? Yes. And one... Oh, it's so hard to describe. This game is so fucking weird. Well, okay. One of the scientists was what you would generically call a scientist. He was through and through a scientist. The other one. Please tell me the other one. He was Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, he never no. thought of that. Look, but the more I thought of it, the more I looked at it. Like the scientists have, like the other scientist always has statues and has blonde hair that belongs. I, I just couldn't get the thought of. This I, is Donald Trump. You, you may, this is Donald Trump in its entirety. That. Oh my God, that may have been the social commentary. You're right. It really, that other scientist. So basically, like, there was one scientist that did all the work, right? He was the smart guy, and he hated the other guy. But the other guy always outshined him. He somehow. took all the limelight. Like, the one scientist would create a statue that's two feet high, and the other would would create a statue that's sixty feet high, and all this other shit. And it's ba he went out of the way to take all the limelight from the other. And the scientist that was always being outshined called the other stupid and all these things, which I thought was a reflection of all the different characters in the game. That's why the big corn guy that's following you always calls you stupid and dumb and yeah. why everyone else keeps using those words because they are creations of those people. Yeah, to a degree. I don't understand how you guys see that guy as Trump. Because he even looks like him a little bit. I, I, I didn't realize it until now. I think you're right. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I think that is social. I like that your epiphany hammer. I gave you that epiphany hammer. Um, what do we think of the puzzles? I already told you. I think they're fucking stupid. They're either extremely stupid and they tell you how you how to do it for via item description. Which, if you're going to do uh, moon logic puzzles, you might as well do that. Yeah, to give you the fairness of that. But there were no puzzles that made me feel smart in any of the game. It wasn't... Nothing was and overly it, intuitive. A if lot I it, was stuck, it's because I didn't have an item or I didn't see something. I got irritated because later in the game, like, you kept on having to confuse the security scanners. And the security scanners were just... They just wanted to scan a person, which you could confuse with a water cooler, a basketball, and a palm and that just got irritating because it got to the point that wasn't clever you're just trying to recreate a human like shape and i'm no you can't see that's, my that's, fingers doing that i want to give this game an eight because of what it's doing there's so much polish in this game like i understand that you hate its comedy and that's fine that you come from your aspect of it but personally i think it's an eight if you're looking for this stupid fucking retarded ass comedic bit you're not gonna find a better game with polish than this i can't think of a single what do you mean by polish because i mean the graphics annoyed me the gra i never had problems with the graphics i thought the animation was good enough for an indie game this went above and beyond what i expected um what did we think of the corn who are the npcs i thought they were annoying and dumb but I'm trying to remember. I remember at one point, one of my favorite points is they had, I walked in in three corn early on and the corn are sentient in this game, but that's, that's just, the, that's the big reveal in this game is the fact that all these, I mean, it tells you that in the trailer, so I wouldn't call it spoilers. Just three corn arguing, whether it's like if a tree falls in the woods, can you hear it? Well, that depends. Is it a Tuesday? And some of their conversations were interesting and funny, but not all that much. Um, what else do we have to discuss? We don't have a lot of structure now that we're hammered. Well, that's the problem. Let's go ahead and say spoiler warning, though, right? Yes. That's because we're, 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 too, we're too far gone. Um, the music. Did you like the dorky-ass music that Only they shoot? Only the last song at the end did I really enjoy... But even then, you didn't like the dance, the the dance thing that happened. The dance at the end, I kind, I okay. I'll be fair. I enjoyed the dance at the end where you had to shoot down the fighter pilots with, uh, 
the big reveal was you were a scarecrow, which wasn't a reveal. They acted like it was a big thing. It was like, yeah, no shit. I didn't go no shit, but there's no foreshadowing for it. It's just, oh wait, you can't talk because you're a scarecrow with your mouth sh sewed shut. But there were five other scarecrows who just talked. So that doesn't make much. I mean, say from a logical standpoint, from the lot, there is no logic in this game. The final boss is defeated by throwing a biscuit at the final boss that you've got at the. That was actually beginning. a pretty cool use of an item you reached in the beginning of the game. I will give you that because I kept on going. What the fuck am I using this biscuit for? <laughs> what the fuck is this biscuit? It is an English muffin. Why am I holding this? It's hard as a rock. Muffin? What do I do it for? <laughs> Yeah, and eventually they just say, throw it at the final boss. Okay. Yeah. I pretty much, by halfway, I knew it was going to be used at the very, very end. I, I think a big problem with why I think this game is so great is because you set me out to make do this game with such low expectations. I, I think, yeah, I think my, I sent you out with some, you're not going to enjoy Because you were like, you, you sent me a text, you're like, I'm sorry. And I was like, I was going to, you asked me whether or not I played it yet, and I was like, oh, I'll play it this weekend. This is, for sorry. And immediately, I was like, how bad is this game? And I started playing it, and I was like, oh, and I've known nothing. I've never heard of this game before. I started playing it, and I was like, oh, this game's kind of, like, charmingly dumb. There's a lot of polish to it. And there's, like, the, it, it's comedy. Its animations are a lot higher than 90% of what we've talked about <laughs> in, in, game, in Game Club. Like, wow, the, my voice just reached a new pitch. Ow. No, it's cool. I mean... That's my biggest thing, is, like, if people are looking for a really corny, dumb game, I think this is one to go to. The problem is, is, I don't know who else I would send to this game. Like, if a friend was t t taking me aside and was like, what game should I play? I'm like, I I'm trying to think of a situation in which I would recommend to this game. Right, that's my problem. It's, just, it's, what it does is, it's funny enough, but maybe if my friend, like, Steve, Steve would probably fucking love this game. Let's be honest maybe. here. He likes Hot Shots. He likes all these dumb, retarded comedies that have no intellect to them whatsoever. I will agree this game had no intellect at some points. Absolutely I none. Think... Period. None of it made fucking sense, guy. Well, the biggest part, the thing that at least irritated me, was the cardboard boxes blocking off areas. The, which they, is they wrote in a narrative piece that explained that, though. What was that? You didn't see that? The fact that there no. was a portfolio thing where there, uh, the Scarecrow's... Go the uh, the scarecrows the corn the sentient corn go out of their way they're dumb but the only thing they do is they put up orange boxes in order to control what people in the uh, experiments do. Okay. That's the only thing they do that was productive. Was the narrative piece in the game. And then we got the really intelligent female corn. For no reason. Yeah, the queen. It felt like an epic adventure. I do. Lottie was interesting. Although, it did irritate me that you could hear him teleport. I didn't hear him teleport. Well, it would... I, I can see teleport, he visually teleport. It's very clear he does that. Well, you could hear it, like, audio because he'd be really far away and then it'd suddenly be oh. really close. Yeah. Okay. So you couldn't so much hear him teleport, but you'd hear him jump. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, I never... The only point I ever laughed is the point... Where they had the two control systems, and there's the big asshole corn, we'll call him. I'm not sure what his name was. But there were the two control systems, and you were trying to get something out of the water. And you had to scare him away, and you just put the picture of the popcorn guy on there. And he just comes down, and you hear... The dude looks at it, screams in terror, and runs away. And you just hear Vladdy, that was stupid! I lost my shit at that one because that was the only time he said stupid and I actually agreed with him full blown because the scene was truly stupid and there were other parts where that made me chuckle mostly when you sent the Russian teddy bear into the vents and he's just pissed off like stupid Americans can't build anything right it doesn't fuck and, and he he's just gets tased by electricity or something but even at the end when he gives his life for you, I, you know, that was, even 
the fact that Vladdy gave his life to save you was kind of a tone changer that wasn't really apt because none of the story... No, none of the push to the fact that he was becoming partial to you. Yeah. At the very end, he randomly just goes, You are a friend, and Vladdy likes to dance. He just so... Ooh, excuse me. Suddenly becomes a likable guy. Which at no point up till then has he been. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. What did you think about the very end where they explode into popcorn and shit? <laughs> and they had the awesome rock version of instead of the 80s. <laughs> that was the best part. My, wh one of the parts that made me laugh was the drones coming to uh, take out the corn. I did. I and even... it was like, I don't know, sir, they're dancing. Seems to be late or early 80s style. <laughs> and they're just like, you're doing the whole DDR thing. Yeah, pretty much. As... Pretty much that was the end of the game, and my hatred for the game just kept building up as I go throughout, because Vladdy had the biggest thing about saying, This is stupid. Yeah. And every time he said that, it just kind of tore at Vladdy me. Vladdy did get wearing on the edges a bit. I mean, I'm upset that they didn't do... You got a Russian talking bear. Make more than one joke other than the Russian accent of saying, This is stupid. You can only milk that cow a certain far. Every now and then it's funny... But they didn't. If Vladi had more diverse and interesting commentary, I think it wouldn't have worn on me. But that bear fucking just saying, this is stupid, this is stupid, this is stupid, just wore on me. And by the end of the game, I did enjoy the DDR thing at the end. And just because it was dorky and dumb. To be fair, I know I enjoyed it because I had to look up on YouTube the ending more than once just because <laughs> I thought this. The song was fun. It was weird, it was quirky, but out of a four hour of experience to me that had two, I wouldn't, 20 minute, like, they weren't game breaking glitches, but glitching into a cornfield and I couldn't move and I'm just like, come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, great, I have to restart the game. I went swimming and it didn't kill me immediately, it just glitched me for a couple of minutes. So I'm like... So, it, the game heavily wore on me, so it just annoyed me to a good degree. You obviously have a different opinion. Yeah, uh, no. When I got into this game, the problem is there's so much polish to it. That's honestly my What are you trying to say by polish? Because that's what's confusing me. When I say it, there's so much polish to it, I mean, look at it. It's very pretty. It, we are uh, watching an animation of the game. We we're we're, we're watching that. gameplay of the game, really. Uh, my gameplay of it. Um, my, our ham me being hammered is quite enamoring. But there's so much polish to it. Is all the writing they did to all the items and whatnot, and the voice acting they had was actually pretty B to A class. It was solid. Yeah, it was B to A. The animations class, they but had the was much higher than I expected. And the writing, though you didn't like it, I think there is a select group of people that would actually enjoy this dorky fucking stupid game. I mean, There's... I think I... Okay, let's ask the question of, would you recommend this? I would recommend it to Steve. You, you would... You'd have to recommend it to somebody who likes quirky stuff that... And they don't have a problem with turning their brain off. Right. Not as the, right. Not That's as what that is I'm insult. not saying this game is any way smart. By no means. All the game aspects in it of it suck. Which is why I give it a seven. It's nothing special, I don't think. But the stupid shit it goes for, I think it does well. I think it does well with the yeah. stupid fucking comedy. With the whole corn peeking out and they don't understand or anything. And you're the smartest scarecrow of the bunch. And the big torture chamber is just a non-stop dance rave. And one of the corn scarecrows actually likes the dance rave. Yeah. That was stupid. Um, I don't know. I Since we are literally during this, the Steam Summer Sale started yesterday. <sighs> I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I paid 15 it, bucks for this because I watched the trailer and got a little too hyped for the trailer and was let down in my opinion. I bought it in a monthly bundle. <laughs> so you got other games for it. I wouldn't pay more than $5 for this game. 
maybe that's what we should do from now on. Is how much we pay would pay for the game. Wasn't that my idea? How much would we pay? I think we may do that from now on. We but fucked yeah, that up. But... I I I would pay. I feel like I got ten bucks worth out of the game. I don't want to say about five. Okay, that's fine. Just enough. it may have been my my computer's a fucking glitch hazard, which wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's not so much as your computer as people that program for the specific things, but such as the being in the PC Master Race. PC Master Race, there's so many GPUs, and so on and so forth. But, yeah, but, yeah you're... Yeah, maybe. Maybe that was the part of the problem. I if this was in a bundle, I'd be okay. I'd say look at it, but this is a hard game for me to recommend. But, it... From what Larson is saying, if you want something quirky or weird, or at the very least something you haven't seen, like I, even though I, this got game is fucking unique, it, right? That's the one thing we can both agree on, right? Yeah. Whether or not the, it's unique, whether or not it's worth... a good type of unique is up in the air. But if you want to see something that you haven't seen, I can say at no, at pretty much all points, I didn't expect that coming. Yeah. Especially towards the end. The end was completely fucking the weird. DDD. DDR. How many D's did I just say? DDR. DDD. That was Drunk cool. driver. <laughs> yeah, thank God I'm sleeping here tonight. <laughs> so, shall we call that conclusion? And I'll go take another piss behind your trailer. Sounds about good, guy. Magical. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.